Hi there! Any YouTube channel of this profile owes a video dedicated to the Railjet train set. We propose even two. This is the first one. It is spectacular to realize by featuring the Railjet livery how many H0 models of most profile brands can be sell only based on the frame of a paint scheme and also based on the fame of a railway company's brand. Most likely only the related combination proposed by the Nightjet paint scheme comes close to the fame of the Railjet brand but it is far from achieving the same level of attention and success. Our railjet combination contains a Porsche set from two years ago produced by Rocco, pulled by a locomotive from seven years ago. There are several conclusions to draw from this combination and we will describe them one by one. You may ask, didn't you want to choose a newer one? Yes. If it were up to us, we wouldn't even choose Rocco's offer, but the more recent one from Igendorfer. However, there is something special about the locomotive we present today and first video dedicated to the railway jet. It is not only very heavy, but it has a video camera inside of it and it is one of their famous series of video lock products. It's the first Railjet Taurus even to carry and provide a video camera and record video option for the collector. The subject is not new here on the channel and even this model has been briefly presented in another video which you can find the review proposal for at the end. Also it has three pantographs instead of the usual models with two or four which gives a certain kind of attractive originality in terms of overall look and aspect.
The Delivered Sound project was quite of a certain quality of its time. It can compete without issues in terms of sound quality with the recent one delivered since 2021 by Rocco, but with the new decoder generation from Zimo. The major differences are in the other more specific Taurus sounds recorded, as well as the melody specific sound is now available also for the stop sequence, while the presented old enough model wasn't equipped with it. We don't think that Rocco didn't have the project back then, rather the ROM memory of the decoder from 10 years ago didn't have enough storage space. Please bear in mind that the overall coverage of this decoder model, including Taurus project sounds, was supposed to handle video and Wi-Fi signal and not only sound, movement and lights as the today Rocco's new locomotives providing the new package sound. For this video we mentioned that it was quite difficult to synchronize the recording produced by the video camera on the locomotive with the main recording because many frames are automatically removed during the initial video processing, during the pauses and gaps in the video streaming from the locomotive's moving Wi-Fi router. Definitely the video signal of this locomotive it is for the sake of fun and not for professional recordings. Anyway, we are under the bad impression that at the time Rocco chose not by accident the very worst video recording format which, combined with medium power Wi-Fi signal, makes the recordings to be execrable. But major, we repeat, it is just a video locomotive for fun while used with the Z21 graphic cabin control setup. As this is still a unique concept of Digital H0, including video streaming signal over Wi-Fi router availability, it's impossible to change the camera like the Loco is a kind of iPhone, meaning you can't change anything from the electronic components like you are not allowed by Rocco to do such a thing by the concept of the entire project. In time, there is absolutely no proof that a collector ever succeeded in changing this loco video camera with a better quality one. Of course, it may not be impossible, but it really does not worth the effort just to have a better quality camera on this locomotive. We should also mention that we didn't open this model for the inside gossip section because in another video on the channel we filmed the interior of this configuration produced by Rocco which is identically implemented in all their models with Wi-Fi access points and video cameras option. A particular chapter is this one dedicated to the powerful heat generated by these camera models. This is due to their big, maybe correctly be huge, capacitors which handles at least 3 to 4 seconds of functionality after power loss for the entire setup of engine, lights, sound, Wi-Fi router and video live streaming. Speaking of heat, we invite you to warm up our small channel a bit to draw YouTube's algorithm attention to the quality we strive to deliver to those interested in this video topics by hitting the like button. Subscribe will also be of a common interest, we guarantee.
We run the locomotive for the first four minutes and the first result was 48 degrees. On the second run, immediately after, for another three minutes, the heat value climbed to the value of 59 degrees and on the last measurement it has reached the value of 64 degrees. Please bear in mind that these results are with the main case on, so the inside value is definitely much higher, especially on the capacitors area. One of the notable and probably beneficial effects of this concept of a video locomotive is that after you can see your own diorama from the track level at once, you feel the need for the playfield size to be larger and dream already of the future diorama, which will have to be at least three times larger than the one you played with such a locomotive first time. Until the next video, be safe and well everyone!